So people have been tweeting quizzes at me. I appreciate you if you have been. And um, I haven't really looked at any. I see the title, obviously. And this one seems particularly appealing to me, as, of course, I didn't upload today. So I'm like, I better do a quiz, because that's, that's how that goes. So this is NFL NFC East leaders. I'm also recording via new setup, as I'll continue to say probably all throughout this week's videos. And I have seven minutes to name the leaders offensively for the NFC East. Uh, is this all time? You have to figure it would be. Although it doesn't say, I assume it's passing, rushing, receiving left to right. It doesn't distinctly say it, but let's go ahead and give it a shot as they have, uh, uh, you know, certain players have overlap. So that's fun. So seven minutes to name 30. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. New York Giants passing. That would be Eli Manning. Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Tony Romo. New York Giants passing again. Phil Sims. Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go Troy Aikman. Philadelphia Eagles is Donovan McNabb. Washington Redskins slash Philadelphia Eagles is kind of a difficult one for me. As that one you'd think would be Donovan McNabb. As he played for both, but you're not gonna type, you know, you're not gonna type McNabb twice, even though you just watched me. Uh, who played for both? Sonny Jurgensen? Did he go Jurgensen? Ah, uh, he did. Philadelphia Eagles again. I'm gonna say Ron Jaworski. Washington Redskins. I'm gonna say Joe Theismann. Philadelphia Eagles again. I'm gonna go Randall Cunningham. And then Dallas Cowboys, in order, can we do it perfectly? Dallas Cowboys, Roger, Staubach. It looks like I'm cheating with that, but nope. <laughs> Everyone right in a row, in order. Starting again, Dallas Cowboys for rushing, Emmett Smith. Dallas Cowboys rushing again. I'm going to say Tony Dorsett. It is. New York Giants is Tiki Barber. Washington Redskins is Clinton Portis. He's not, he's not, first one out of order. I skipped down. Who would have been the Washington Redskins running back? John Riggins, you idiot. New York Giants. Uh, this one's kind of tough because it could be any number of backs. I'm going to try Rodney Hampton first. It is Rodney Hampton. Philadelphia Eagles is probably going to be Brian Westbrook and then LaShawn McCoy. Brian Westbrook's at the bottom, so I'm going to go LaShawn McCoy. Who would be number two then? The, the name Carell Buckhalter will not get out of my head. That cannot be correct. He definitely did not have more rushing yards with the Eagles and Brian Westbrook. It's got to be a running back uh, who played a while ago. Dude, I have no idea. It's going to be so obvious. It's not going to be anyone recent. It can't be. It's got to be Deuce Staley, maybe? Not Deuce Staley. I was really hoping to be Deuce Staley. And this that Cowboys one's going to be bothering me as well. Dallas Cowboys running back, it could be, it's not going to be Darren McFadden, obviously. It's not going to be Zeke, I don't think. We're going to type him anyway. Who could it be? Running back in the 2000s for the Cowboys. Uh, they had Marion Barber, but it won't be him. They had, it's not going to be DeMarco Murray, I don't think. It's not, hmm. Cowboys. I gotta be missing somebody obvious. Oh, man. I really don't know. We're gonna move on to receivers. Washington Redskins slash Philadelphia Eagles. This is the most receiving yards in NFC East history, and the name is not, like, popping out to me. We're gonna start with Art Monk. It is Art Monk. I don't remember him. Well, I mean, I wasn't alive, but I don't remember him with the Eagles at all. Dallas Cowboys is the playmaker. Michael Irvin followed up by Drew Pearson, maybe? Drew Pearson's all the way at the bottom. It's going to be Jason Witten. New York Giants is Amani Toomer. Washington Redskins. Maybe Santana Moss. Santana Moss is at the bottom of Washington Redskins. Who would another Redskins receiver be? You guys maybe know the answer. Uh, we're going to skip one to Philadelphia Eagles slash Dallas Cowboys. A lot of Cowboys here. I'm going to go Des Bryant. Des Bryant does not... He doesn't have 8,000 receiving yards. That's crazy to me. He played for a while. Nah, I guess it makes sense. Uh, hmm. Because Washington Redskins again is throwing me off. Who would, like, all I can think of are tight ends. Like, Chris Cooley popped in my head. I, I know it's not. I have to type it. Why is receiving so much harder that, for me than the rest of them? 
Washington Redskins. Who would you be? They just haven't had many dominant receivers in my in my uh, memory. But there are two on here that are close to 10,000 yards. Art Monk is an obvious one. Who would have played in the 90s? Still probably Art Monk was the only major one. So it's got to be like early 2000s. Or mid-2000s. So they've had Pierre Garçon. It's not going to be him very clearly if you're an NFC East fan. Time's ticking. And it's so difficult for me to think what I'm trying to think out loud. But I don't want to go quiet because that's like no one wants to see that. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Let's think. Washington Redskins. I, I, there, there are no names popping in my mind. It's it, There's literally nothing. I am brain dead. What about Philadelphia Eagles slash Dallas Cowboys? Who would that be? A predominant Philadelphia Eagle receiver that's also played for the Cowboys? And, I mean, uh, it's not a shock to Sean Jackson's out here. Dude, I am totally not going to be able to get another one. And let me go back to running back real quick. Eagles and Cowboys. No, nah, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Dallas Cowboys, you're telling me. Not DeMarco Murray, not Ezekiel Elliott. I have a, I'm just so blank between Emmett Smith and uh, Tony Dorsett. Who played in the middle there? Anyone? Who would have played in the 70s for the Cowboys at running back? Dog, I have no idea. I hate to give up early, but it's going to kill me. Wilbert Montgomery and Don Perkins, I'm not mad about that. Harold Carmichael, I probably should have gotten. Charlie Taylor, Gary Clark, and Tony Hill. You know what? I'm not even stressing over that. Gary Clark, I'm not coming up with. Tony Hill, I'm not coming up with. Charlie Taylor, probably not. And then Wilbert Montgomery, I have no idea who that is. And then Don Perkins, I, I forgot. I forgot. So he's not he's not that notable. Surprised he had that many yards, to be honest. But that is a fun, that's a fun quiz. I just didn't do as well as I would have wanted because uh, I'm bad is what it comes down to. But 80% is, uh, you know, a B if you want to take that away from it. That's going to do it for the video, guys. The link will be down in the description. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.